Hello everyone, today it's going to be a little bit special because our, uh, our math lesson for today will be joined by the reigning Miss Team USA who happens to be my student as well in Barstow High School. She is now a senior in Barstow High School and she just recently won the Miss California Team USA 2018. Yes. Did I say it right? Uh -huh. And uh, this is Janice Love. And she's been my student for two, three years. She's been my student for three years now, and currently she's taking AP Statistics, which is a college level uh, math class in Barstow High School. And uh, yeah, so uh, Janice, Janice, Janice or Janice? Janice. Is that Janice? It's Janice. So, um, what made you decide to uh, join Beauty Pageant? Is it really uh, what you love to be doing uh, ever since? Yeah, so I started beauty pageants because I used to be super shy and I didn't want to get involved into anything and so this really helped me get out of my shy bubble and interact with so many people and get to mingle with so many organizations outside of Barstow and even in the community. And it's something I love to do, it's my passion, and so that's why I started. So, uh, so you've just won Miss Teen California. Yes. So what, what exactly does Miss Teen California do? Yeah, so we have events throughout the entire year. It's kind of what you make out of it. So you can um, coordinate events yourself or our directors are very helpful and they assign us events to go to in town and out of town as well throughout California. So, so now that you're Miss Teen California, do you have any aspiration to uh, go compete nationally or even maybe internationally? Yeah, I would love to. So Miss Teen USA is in the United States, but as I get older, I would love to compete for Miss USA or hopefully Miss Universe sometime. Yes, Miss Universe. So among the Miss Universe, who's your favorite? Ooh, probably Pia. She's a dancer. <laughs> yeah, no, she's a great queen, and um, she's just an inspirational person in how she carried on herself throughout her years. So. So Miss Philippines, Miss <laughs> Pia works back if you're watching. Yeah. Janice. Hi Pia. <laughs> shout out to, to Miss Pia works back. And uh, so aside from pageantry, um, let's talk about school. What yeah. do you enjoy about school? Um, I like subjects that challenge me because school has always been really easy for me. So math is definitely a challenge that um, for myself and yeah, so I'd have to say math is one of my favorites because, as I said, school comes really easy for me, but math is something that I actually have to try to do well for myself. Yes, it challenges me. Second good answer. <laughs> she should be Miss Universe now. <laughs> and uh, Janice, she's been in my math class for three years. She's in my algebra class, my pre-calculus class, right? Yeah. And now AP Statistics, which is really challenging. That's why now um, I'm really happy and honored that she is doing this with me, um, making tutorial videos in statistics. And today we're going to be answering some uh, problems in statistics, specifically on probability. So I know most students don't like answering math problems, especially word problems. But for today, Janice and I will be answering word problems in mathematics, specifically in statistics, and hopefully at the end of this lesson you will all be understanding probability, and hopefully this video will help you understand how to answer probability. Yes. So today we're going to be working on uh, probability questions and for problem number one we are computing for the probability of picking red candy in a box. So in this particular problem we have three red candies, we have one blue candy and four yellow candies. So total candies in the box is eight candies because we have three plus one plus four which is equal to eight and we are interested to find the probability of picking a red candy so you need to count the number of red candies in the problem and in this case it says there that there are three red candies so there are three of them so in statistics the probability or how we write probability notation is p of red and p of red means finding the probability of picking a red candy in the box and it's basically just three out of eight which is when you use your calculator three out of eight is 0.375 and if you change this in percent form 0.375 is 37.5 percent problem number two says that there are five marbles in a bag four are blue and one is red 
what is the probability that a blue marble gets picked? So we're going to write n equals 5 because there are 5 marbles in the bag and there are 4 blue marbles so we're going to do b equals 4 and we're trying to find the probability that a blue marble gets picked and the probability is 4 over 5 which equals about 0.8% and in percentage form is 80% and for problem number 3 we have here Anna, Robert, John, Peter, Paul, and Mary. And uh, we're trying to uh, figure out the probability of choosing a president at a math club. And uh, the probability that we're looking for is the prob probability that a female will be elected as the president of the math club. So here, the sample size, or the total number of people here, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are six of them. And we are interested of only picking female, the probability of electing a female president, and there are two of them, Mary and Anna. So we have two female um, candidates, so the probability of picking a female president or electing a female president is going to be two out of six, which is approximately equal to 0 0.3333. Again, we're using the calculator to find the decimal value of 2 all over 6. And in percent form, it's about 33.33%. And that is the probability of picking or electing a female president based on our sample. Number 4 says there are 86 candidates vying for the title of Miss Universe 2018. And we're trying to find the probability that Miss Philippines will get the crown. So there is 86 contestants, so that will be our N, and Philippines will equal 1. And we're trying to find the probability that the Philippines will get the crown, and that is 1 over 86. And using our calculator, we know that that is 0 0.0116 or 1.16%. And that is the probability that Miss Philippines will get the crown at Miss Universe. 2018. 2018. <laughs> will she really get the crown? <laughs> well, yes, there's a probability of 1.16% yeah. of that <laughs> happening. And for problem number five, we're now looking at a six-sided die. And here we're trying to find the probability of getting a roll of five when you roll a six-sided die. So hopefully you know what a six-sided die look like. And in a six-sided die, there are six dots, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are only interested to finding or getting a roll of five. So here, n is going to be six because there are six dots or six sides in a six-sided die. And we're interested to getting a five. So five. There's only one five in a uh, die. So the probability of getting a five is going to be one out of six. And again, using your calculator, one out of six is going to be 0.167 or 16.7%. And number six. It's asking, what is the probability of rolling a number greater than 4 when you roll a 6-sided die? So, as said earlier, we know that a 6-sided die has 6 dots on it, and we're trying to find a number that is greater than 4. So, a number greater than 4. And we know that 5 and 6 are the only two numbers greater than 4, so the probability of a number greater than 4 is going to be 2 out of 6. And using our calculator, we know that it is 0.3333% or 33%. And that's problem number six. And for problem number seven, let's scoot it up a little bit. Seven, we're now using a standard deck of cards. So you need to know what a standard deck of cards look like. And in a standard deck of cards, there are four suits. And there are four faces and numbers two up until ten and the ace card and in total a standard deck of card has 52 cards so that is our sample space and in this particular probability question we're looking for 
a face card. So what is the probability that in a standard deck of cards, when you pick a card, it's going to be a face card? So you need to know the number of face cards in a standard deck of cards. So the number of face cards, there are queen, king, jack, and four suits. So it's going to be three times four, which is 12. So we have 12 face cards. So the probability of getting a face card is simply 12 out of 52. And using our calculator, 12 out of 52 is going to be 0 0.2307. 0 0.2307 or approximately equal to 23%. And for problem rate? It says, in a standard deck of cards, what is the probability of getting a number of any color that is more than 12? And so a standard deck of cards is 52. But this is a trick question because in probability you have to know that there are only numbers from 2 to 10 and so 12 there will no there will not be a number greater than 12 and so the probability of that will be 0 or 0%. Zero so again in working with word problems it's extremely important that you understand what you're reading because sometimes it's really easy to answer a problem if you know what is being asked as opposed to just learning and memorizing formula so number nine according to my weather app in my iphone there's a 40 percent chance of raining tomorrow so we're looking for the probability that it's not raining tomorrow so we know that the probability of rain is 40 percent so this one is another, it's not a trick question, but it's um, a common sense problem, which is if it's going to rain tomorrow at 40%, we know that our probability of not raining is the complement of 40%, and the complement of 40% is 60%. So that means the probability of not raining is 60%. And the last problem? The last one says, Miss Teen Alabama brought pairs of shoes to compete for Miss Teen USA. She has four pairs of red shoes, two pairs of silver shoes, and three pairs of tan colored shoes. What is the probability that Miss Teen Alabama will be wearing a pair of shoes in the pageant? And we know that she is going to be wearing shoes no matter what, so this is also a quick trick question, and it is important to read problems in statistics because like Dr. E said earlier, it's not all about knowing the formulas, it's about reading the problems as well. And so she's going to be wearing shoes no matter what. So the probability that Miss Teen Alabama will be wearing a pair of shoes is 100%. And that is our lesson for probability. And uh, beauty queens or pageant queens, they think that they are just beauty. Janice is uh, one of those beauty queens who is not only graceful and confident on stage, she also knows her numbers. And uh, she's a perfect example that um, you can do the things that you love to do, but you can also show that you're responsible in school and that you can do uh, math problems like uh, this statistics problem that we just did. Thank you. So if you guys learned anything from today's video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Numberbender. Mana o, po kayo nan video ni Numberbender. Salamat po.